You know exactly what it feels like to sit in your boiling hot vehicle in the middle of an Okanagan summer. Now imagine fighting a fire in that same heat with no shade and on steep terrain. The firefighters have been measuring 42 degrees uh, every day for the last three days on the rock and it's scheduled to 37 is air temperature in the shade. Pretty extreme heat for that, that type of physical work. The crews are being supplied with electrolytes, not just water, because they need more than just water. And normally, in our firefighting summer, our crews do not need more than just water. We've been under this ridge of high pressure for the last week. Um, temperatures in through the Okanagan have been in the low to now into the mid to high 30s. Um, and that's in the cities themselves. When you have all that gear on top of you and you're in close proximity to the uh, wildfires that are burning, the temperatures are going to be even higher than what people are feeling down in the cities. We can forecast Mother Nature. We can't control it. So uh, the, the weather forecast is calling for slightly cooler conditions. Not today. Today it's still supposed to be hot. Uh, 37 degrees, daytime, 45 on the rock there. Um, but there's a, a trough forming and coming in, which should bring us a little bit of a relief, maybe even as much as 10 degrees, which is going to be huge over there. So our ridge of high pressure is finally going to move off and move off to the east of us beginning um, on Wednesday. So the trough of cooler air coming in behind is going to drop temperatures uh, first down into, you know, the low 30s by Wednesday and then, in, and then back towards seasonal, which is sort of the mid to high 20s. Uh, for Thursday, Friday. Relief could come on Wednesday, but could also bring with it thunderstorms. For Castanet News, I'm Elena Kelly in Peachland.